Yorkshire put one hand on the LV County Championship trophy after they completed a comprehensive innings and 18-run win over Lancashire at Emirates Old Trafford, a result that puts the home side back into the bottom two of the first division table. Lancashire began the final morning on 144 for two, still 188 runs behind, and knowing that they would have to bat through much of the day to earn the draw, Adol Rashid was going to be the major threat on this wearing pitch. Ryan Sidebottom would have liked to have played a part two, but not with deliveries such as this one. Lancashire actually started the day well with Usman Kawaja, who resumed his innings on 69, and Ashwell Prince seeing out the first hour in which they added 56 runs. Yorkshire remained patient and were rewarded for that when Prince on 40 was taken down the leg side by Johnny Bairstow off Rashid. Now for something very rare in this game, an all-run six with Andrew Gale employing some very attacking fields there was acres of space in the outfield and when Stephen Croft pushed the ball into the leg side with not enough power behind his shot for it to carry to the boundary, Besto set off in pursuit from behind the stumps, allowing the batsman to complete an all-run four. But then the throw from the deep didn't bounce too kindly and there were some overthrows. In fact, had Kawaja not run so far past the stumps when completing the fourth, there may have even been the chance of running seven. For most of us watching, such things would have required an ambulance and some respiratory devices just to keep going. Kawaja did catch his breath back and he was the man that Yorkshire now really wanted. By now, news would have filtered through that Knots were losing their game in Durham, a result which meant a lot for both of these two teams at each end of the table. Kawaja has not always been at his best since joining Lancashire as their overseas player, but he was becoming the thorn in Yorkshire's side as he completed his first 100 for his county. He'd needed 178 balls for this one and had struck 12 fours and one six. He needed to go on for some while yet, though. By lunch, Yorkshire had taken a second wicket. Croft on 16, giving Rashid his third of the innings, with Kane Williamson completing the dismissal with an outstanding catch close in. Such things help win matches, and it's worth seeing again. Shortly after lunch, Yorkshire were well on their way to a seventh win of the season, although that might not have been the case when Alex Lees dropped Kawaja. But the same man did hold on to this edge to remove Alex Davis, Jack Brooks, the happy bowler. Not only did we have an all-run six on this day, but Lancashire were also given five penalty runs, when the ball hit the helmet behind Bairstow. But not even things such as that were going to save Lancashire, when Kawaja, who'd made 117, was beaten by Rashid and stumped by Bairstow. Tom Smith had already fallen to Brooks for a couple, and then Glenn Chappell was bowled by the same man for three. Brooks now had 58 championship wickets for the summer, more than anyone else in the top flight, and then Rashid added a five-wicket haul to his brilliant hundred on the previous day as Simon Kerrigan nicked behind. The game was just about at an end, and Yorkshire would have known that they were about to move 26 points clear at the top of the table with just two games to go. A win at Trent Bridge next week may be all they need now to take their first championship trophy for 13 years. They've been consistently the strongest county in the four-day game this year, even without the likes of Joe Root, Gary Balance and Liam Plunkett for most of it. Tom Bailey and Stephen Parry did hold them up for seven overs, until Adam Lythe, the man whose mammoth inning set up this victory, came on and bowled Parry for 28. It was clear to see what this win meant to Lythe and his team. In what has been a very closely contested four-day summer, it may well be the one which sorts out the champions. The one bad bit of news from the day being that Gale now faces a two-match ban after an altercation with Prince on the previous evening. With Bailey ending unbeaten on 25, Lancashire were all out for 314, Rashid claiming his best figures of the season of 5 for 117 as his team took the game by an innings and 18 runs for a 23-point haul, one which does put them 26 points clear at the top. Lancashire had to settle for three points and so they are back in the relegation places, now a dozen points behind both Middlesex and Durham, who also both have a game in hand. It's not looking good for the boys from Manchester.